in rural areas of Kentucky where companies are still building out new telecommunications infrastructure, if a person has a basic landline land line today provided to them by AT&T, Windstream, or Cincinnati Bell, nothing in this bill, and let me begin and say nothing in this bill, allows that landline to be taken away. If they have it today and want to keep it after this bill becomes law, they can and will keep it. Not like some other promises from other officials and maybe the federal government or anything that says if you want to keep something, you can keep it. This bill means it. Now, I assure you that this bill does mean that uh, what I say when you can keep it, you can keep it. If a bad storm knocks out their basic landline and the customer wants basic landline service restored, the companies must restore it, period. No question. Only that person who has the landline and makes the decision when they are ready to try the new technology. Until then, and until that customer initiates a change, that they retain the right to receive basic landline service if that's what they want. Also, if that same customer tries something new, say you're out in Shelbyville, Kentucky, out in the outskirts of Shelbyville, and you want to try a wireless service, they have the right to receive that basic landline service if they aren't happy with the new service. So if you want to try something new, like a lot of people will, you can always go back to your old service and they must put your old service back in.